Sarah Blinko, um, you're the project manager for the bit drop, right? Yes, I am. All right, cool. And you guys announced this big event um, about two weeks ago or so. And uh, the plan basically is to distribute free Bitcoin to 70,000 people on the island nation of Dominica. Um, nothing like this has really ever been tried before. Um, what what like motivated you guys to, to try and accomplish this and, and get this done? Well, I think there's a lot of talk about how to get more people using Bitcoin or, or more people accepting Bitcoin right now. There's a lot of merchants coming on, but I didn't uh, see a whole lot of people going out and really actively trying to get more people accepting Bitcoin into their own lives. And so um, Ira Miller, who's the CEO of Coinapult, um, approached me a couple months ago and asked me what I thought about the idea. And it was just such a beautiful idea to me. Um, I've been in Bitcoin since 2011. And for the, about the last year, it's been my full time passion and job to basically get people into Bitcoin and show them and teach them and show them how to use it. And so it just seemed like an absolute amazing opportunity to connect with a whole new community of people, help educate them about block blockchain technology, show them how Bitcoin can be used back and forth, and really like bring them into our community, which is um, a really great opportunity. So that's kind of how it started. And um, since then, it's just turned into a really amazing snowball of support. So we've got um, lots of sponsors on. We've got Coinapult as a sponsor. They're going to be actually doing the initial drop, drop of the Bitcoin through SMS. Um, we've got the College Cryptocurrency Network, who is currently making tons of educational materials to go up on our website to be handed out um, in person, as well as... Um, we're in negotiations right now to actually have a full page um, educational area on the Dominican news online. So where where all of the Dominicans go to get their news, they'll actually be able to learn about Bitcoin as well. And then we've done a lot of community outreach, um, made a couple friends on the island who actually already had Bitcoin. And now we're working with them to create Facebook groups and local groups. Um, I'm going to be moving down there at the beginning of the year um, to kind of facilitate helping groups, um, connecting some Bitcoin experts into the groups so that we can have meetups. And when they have questions, we can immediately answer their questions with whether it be, um, you know, technical blockchain questions, mining questions, business questions, you know, all of the questions that you can think about that you come up against in the first couple months of Bitcoin, we're hoping to be able to immediately connect them with experts that can answer their questions. So, yeah, interesting. Um, so you're distributing the Bitcoin via SMS with the help of Coinapult. Um, w will you give people like an option to like transfer to their to their smartphone wallet, like either blockchain or Hive or something like that. Um, like how, how will people be able to manage their Bitcoin once they get it by text message? Sure. So at first we were thinking um, that most of the island didn't have smartphones. But after doing a large amount of research, it's about 70% of the island has smartphones. So that's really, really awesome. Um, so... Coinapult will be doing the initial drop through text so that we can drop over. It's I think their population right now is about 74,000. Um, so we'll be able to do that all on the on Pi Day during our celebration, the morning of the celebration. We're going to drop the Bitcoin. And then the whole day they'll be able to spend it. Now, people that don't have smartphones can easily send and receive Bitcoin through SMS through Coinapult's system. But we're currently um, talking to different uh Bitcoin wallet systems and, and companies and looking for the correct pairing of um, convenience, ease of use, and interest in making this a really great project. So um, when, once we finalize our sponsors in the next 30 days, absolutely every single person that is receiving Bitcoin on their phones will know that they can then text it to themselves 
in an email. They can email it, basically. They can put it into a blockchain wallet. They could put it into a Zappo wallet. They could put it into a Coinapult web-based wallet. wallet. They can put it anywhere they want, and they're going to know that that's an option. Um, We're looking to have ATM sponsors. We're looking to have um, travel sponsors. Uh, we've been in. We've been talking with Cheap Air, so really wanting to get some Bitcoiners down to the island, so that on the day of the party, when questions are there, people are just everywhere having a good time and talking about Bitcoin. There's never a better chance to grab somebody when they're asking those questions and have somebody to like support them. You know. Yeah. Um, so yes, we're we're we're. It's a very important step of education in Bitcoin. It's not just how you get it, but how you keep it safe and where you put it. So we want to make sure that every single person on the island has an understanding that, yes, they do own Bitcoin. But if they want to earn Bitcoin or invest in Bitcoin or uh, do a lot of transfer of Bitcoin, that there are other wallet systems besides SMS text through Coinapult. The other reason why we are working with Coinapult as a main sponsor is because Coinapult has access to locks, which is, um, have you heard of locks before? Yeah, yeah. Interesting way to try and combat uh, the volatility of Bitcoin by by basically like locking in the value when people buy it. Exactly. So say, um, say an Islander has a rent of $300 a month and they want to participate and stay in the Bitcoin ecosystem without being subject to volatility. They'll actually be able to lock $300 worth of Bitcoin through the coin pulse system to the US dollar per se, right? And no matter how the price of Bitcoin goes up or down, they'll still have $300 worth of Bitcoin at the end of the month when they need to sell it, pay their rent, or to pay their rent directly to their their landlord. With an entire island accessing Bitcoin and having the opportunity to use the blockchain, I think that we'll see a large amount of people suddenly accepting Bitcoin for rent and for uh, garage sales. I've, I've been looking yeah. at these garage sales on the island, then they, they're always like, well, I could meet you here where there's an ATM or I got it, you know. So it's like these are the opportunities that Bitcoin can really truly help. So when they peg their the, the when they peg the value of the Bitcoin, not only are they staying within the ecosystem, they're not worried about the volatility that could ensue in the next 30 days. So we want to make sure that that that's also a known factor because Bitcoin volatility can be a very big deterrent for people who don't have the financial access to go with the volatility swings. Um, so that's something, you know, we're, we're really looking, the bit drop in particular, to move forward and do many other drops on other islands. Um, we're really looking to find the right sponsors that really can give us a great opportunity to share their services with an entire sovereign nation and then branch on out from there. So. Yeah, um, like Dominica, seventy thousand people. That's that's about the the population of maybe like a like a small city in the, in the United States or so. Um, but like after Dominica, if this if this is successful in like getting people educated and and adopting more, and you guys move on to greater countries, is other plans to like to move on to to larger islands like like maybe Cuba or something crazy like that, like where there's potentially millions of people. Uh, yes, there are plans on moving on to other islands. We're already in um, conversation with other government officials on other islands. I think Cuba might be a little bit far-reaching just because of um, the governmental hold. Um, but but that doesn't mean that Bitcoin can't get there and help the people. It just not, might not be as orchestrated as a, of a party and, you know... It, it, we might right. have to take a little bit more of like guerrilla tactics to get all of Cuba yeah. <laughs> onto Bitcoin. It kind of depends on. Um, but yes. <laughs> it kind of depends on like like um like the political the political hierarchy being open to the idea, right? Like how did how did you convince the the politicians of Dominica to to be open to this? Did they already own Bitcoin? Did did you like kind of bribe them in Bitcoin a little bit to to be open to this, or how did how did that work? There's been no bribing, and the the government's not getting any kickback from this. We're not paying the government to do this. Um, that there's been um, multiple conversations with um, the Commonwealth of Dom- Dominica to um, bring businesses to the island. Um, the island is 
uh, very different than many other of the Caribbean islands because it's uh, not full of white sandy beaches. It is truly a nature island. I mean, it is beautiful waterfalls and rivers and lake and um, amazing scuba diving, protected waters. I mean, this is a pristine place that has a huge opportunity for ecotourism and a large technological boost because they did not go with the um, servers and the porn industry and the adult industry like a lot of the other islands did, gambling. You know, they, they didn't take that. So this is a really great opportunity for Dominica as a whole to not only boost tourism, but to bring a technological, um, to, to bring technological advances as well as opportunities to their people, um, which means more businesses, which means more tax revenue. Yeah, sounds interesting. I, I really hope it's successful in like, in getting a lot more people educated about Bitcoin. You know, educated about the possibilities uh, in expanding commerce between people in a community. Because I think that's where the real potential lies in Bitcoin is increasing. Uh, person-to-person transactions, um, you know, making a more interconnected economy. And like uh, launching that on an island of 70,000 people, that's like the perfect experiment, a per- perfect testing ground for this type of experiment and, and seeing if people can like uh, really get this thing going organically uh, and, and get merchants adopting it and people transacting with each other. So it's, it's sure. pretty exciting. It's really exciting, and I, I try not to think of it as an experiment just simply because we're working with people and we're doing education, but I, I truly think it's an opportunity for the proof of concept of Bitcoin, and I think that that's, I think that that's a truly um, amazing thing that we need more of because currently we see a lot of hype about this business is accepting business uh, Bitcoin and you know th- that's all great I love that overstock.com I love that Dell computers I love that Tiger direct I love that cheap air except Bitcoin that's wonderful that helps me but that's Bitcoin for the North American shopping experience right. and that is not what the ultimate goal of Bitcoin is. The ultimate goal, from my point of view, is to be able to have a peer-to-peer economy globally with nobody able to stop you or take a percentage of it for their own without your permission. And that's something that countries that are um, in the developing world and coming up and having huge opportunities for entrepreneurship Bitcoin is going to push them so fast and so far into that. Um, I have some friends in Ghana that are doing a Bitcoin um, entrepreneurship um, nonprofit for kids. And they're teaching the kids about Bitcoin and how to be entrepreneurs with it. So we're going to partner with them and help them uh, take some of their advice and their education and hopefully create another subsector on Dominica. Um, so, you know, we're, we're trying to take this at all different angles. Obviously, the party is kind of like the culmination of all the really great work that not only all the sponsors have done, but all the islanders that have supported us and helped us get connected in and helped us set up local merchants and accepted Bitcoin into their own lives. It's a party to celebrate that. We've already seen uh, the Dominica whale research is already accepting donations for Bitcoin um, in Bitcoin for the bit drops. So that's really exciting. We're already seeing people on the island getting excited about it. We've got Facebook groups popping up that we're um, moderating and bringing, bringing experts into answer answer questions. So it's just the beginning. I, I have a feeling in the next six months we're going to go so insane. Um, I think that as far as the Bitcoin community goes, that there's two, there's actually three ways that any individual person can help out. And I think that if you truly see this as a great opportunity as a proof of concept for Bitcoin, and you don't have money to donate, donate. please donate your expertise or your time or your advice. Like reach out to me. I'm happy to listen to you. If you have something or a good idea of how to get people motivated and stoked, please let us know. We'll, we'll implement it in and try it. Um, if you have extra Bitcoin, <laughs> extra Bitcoin, uh, please donate it. All money, all, all Bitcoin being donated 
to our public address goes 100% to the island. We're not taking cuts of it for travel or anything like that. And if you're a company that wants global exposure and a direct access to a whole new Bitcoin economy, please contact me. We're setting up sponsorships right now. So there's, there's infinite ways that people can get involved in this. And if you just want to take a vacation on uh, March 14th, <laughs> come join us on Pi Day and uh, celebrate with using Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Party on the island and uh, have a few beers, talk with people about cryptocurrency, all the possibilities. Sounds fantastic. And you'll be able to buy your beer with uh, with Bitcoin. So um, at, at the party, the merchants will be accepting Bitcoin for Caribbean island food, for beer, Um I, I've been thinking quite a bit about how to make it kind of like a, a full island day of Bitcoin sales. Like maybe they want to ha- sell stuff in their yard for Bitcoin. Uh, you know, just really what we really want to do on the party of Pi Day is make sure that people are understanding how quickly and how easy it is to send Bitcoin back and forth. Because that's truly the proof of concept when people get their first Bitcoin quickly and they're like, wow, that was that was really quick. OK, yeah. this is this is easy, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> All right, it is going to be pretty exciting. I'm lo- I'm looking forward to see what happens. Absolutely. Well, All we'll right. keep you. I'll keep you updated if we have any extra new news or new sponsors, all that kind of stuff. We're working hard to lock everything in and get it going. So cool. And um, for for this video, I'll put your I'll put your email in the description so people can contact you with any tips or advice or anything. Sure. Um, as well as the donation address for the for the island party and all that, and the Bitrop web- website, of course. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, great, uh, Sarah. Thank cool. you for joining me for this. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you guys for bringing it up on your show, and I'm happy to be able to, um, you know, clarify that it's not just about the party. It's definitely yeah. about the six months leading up to it. It's that's extremely important and for, all the time for the after that as well. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, the six months now is just like I keep thinking about that. I'm like, these next six months may be crazy for me, but the next infinite amount of time for these islanders and every single island in the Caribbean, uh, it's, it's going to change forever. It's my life has changed since I've brought Bitcoin into it. And I know most people feel the same way. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of entering a new era in, in commerce, really. Uh, that's how I view it. And you guys are doing Absolutely. a great job at, at pushing this new era, uh, and, and helping, uh, islanders to, to join this new era as well. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat about the bid drop today. (laughs) All right. No problem. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Bye.